So uh, <clears throat> here's uh, my first uh, experiment with trying to use a uh, <clears throat> air valve that has that opens uh, as if it were being driven by a pin on top of the piston. That is like a little piston driven <clears throat> or piston actuated valve. The way a lot of little CO2 engines are, they don't have a separate cam. Uh, they just use the piston and as it comes up it, <clears throat> it hits a ball in the top of the head and pushes it open on the upstroke and then closes it about the same time on the way down. <clears throat> um, and they like, uh, and they also, instead of having a separate exhaust, they have this, a row of holes across the bottom that open up at bottom dead, dead center and that <clears throat> uh, allows the overpressure air to escape at the bottom dead center. <clears throat> However, as soon as the piston starts back up, it uh, closes off those holes so it has to recompress whatever air is still in the cylinder. Um, this little engine has, an ex has a, what I call a slave exhaust valve up in the top. It's up here in the head. This is the exhaust over here. This is the inlet valve here. It's a standard poppet style valve like found in a car engine. When it opens, it lets air go in this tube. <clears throat> There's a ball bearing in that tube that's pressing up uh, against uh, the side of the uh, inlet there. <clears throat> and then uh, behind that ball bearing, there's a spring that goes back here and it holds that ball bearing shut as long as there's no compressed air coming in. There's also a port from that tube down into the piston and it's behind that ball bearing. Or, I'm sorry, it's, uh, yeah, the port is behind the ball bearing. <clears throat> so when there's no air pressure, the piston is open to uh, exhaust air out through that hole and out through the exhaust. So the engine will sit there and freewheel forever because it can it's exhausting out behind that ball. As soon as the air pressure, as soon as the valve opens, the air comes in, it pushes that ball valve to the side like that, <clears throat> uh, closing off the exhaust side and exposing the port to the inlet high pressure air, which then, of course, comes in and pushes the piston down. Uh, <clears throat> with this engine, uh, these, these holes here really aren't necessary. They really don't serve any purpose. You can close them off with your thumb when it's running and you really can't tell any difference. <clears throat> the, um, normally when I run this engine, it's set to run in one direction, so I have the, this cam set to where the, piston, the valve will open before top dead center. Oh, I'm sorry, right about top dead center, and then it'll close somewhere after top dead center. But as I say, I've got it set up now so you can kind of see it opens and closes. If you watch the connecting rod, you can see yeah, I've got it positioned right at TDC. So it opens, it'll, it will open, start opening right about there, and it'll close right about there. Or if you go in the other direction, it'll start opening right there and close right about there. The engine will run equally well in either direction with this setup. So let me go ahead and uh, fire up the valve, and uh, <clears throat> I'll show you how it works. pretty well that the slave valve uh, gives you a lot smoother operation 
on this engine. It'll let it run down slower uh, <clears throat> than a typical piston valve engine. Uh, so my next uh, my next project will be to see if I can put some sort of a spring or other delay on that uh, on that valve rod so that <clears throat> when the engine is turning over, even though it starts pushing it up, the the spring or whatever I use will actually delay the opening until until a little bit further on up nearer top dead center, and then it'll suddenly pop open, and then inertia and the thing will hold it open until it starts back down. <clears throat> so using that delay on the upstroke ought to give me uh, a little better performance because the, it won't open quite so soon. It'll delay the opening a little bit. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.